and adults of the world. Humanity in general. We have a very important message for you. It is important to wash your hands often and we're going to show you why in today's experiment. Let's get started. So the things you'll need for this experiment is water, soap, black pepper, and a plate. So the first thing we're going to do is take the water mm -hmm. and we're going to pour it onto the plate. Like so. so. It's fine. And then we're going to take the black pepper and pour it inside. All of it. Yeah. So we're going to show you what happens before we put the soap on our finger and after. Yeah. So as you can see, nothing really happened. Yeah. yeah. Now let's put the soap on. We put a little soap on top of our fingers. Okay. As you can see, when we touch the water, the black pepper moves away from our wow, fingers. Wow, that's so cool. You can try that in any area. Try it. Oh, As you can see, it's that is really so cool. cool. So let's pretend that the black pepper is a virus or germs. And the soap is a repellent. You can see when we put the soap on our finger and we touch the black pepper, it goes away from our finger because we have soap on it. And that's why it's important to wash your hands because the germs move away from you and you become healthy. This was a really cool demonstration of why it's important to wash your hands. Wasn't it, Stacy? Yes, and this prevents you from getting sick. This is Seth. And this is Stacy. And this is Summer's Lab. Stay safe. And stay super. Ciao. Seth, I know one of your favorite things is making explosions. Please tell me in today's experiment we're making an explosion. Yes, we are. Yay! Today we're going to be making a fountain. For the experiment, we'll need baking soda, vinegar, a spatula, food coloring, a funnel, and a bottle. Let's get started. So first we put in the baking soda. Let me hold the bottle. And we're going to put it up to like here. Oh my gosh. Let me try to empty some of this. <laughs> like just shake it. Ooh, it's snowing. <laughs> I think it's fine. Now for the second part, we're going to put in the food coloring. Use the spatula. Yeah. The scoops. What color do you think that is? Red? No, it's orange. I know it. It looks like red. Wow. Let's put a little. And you don't need to mix. Then now we're going to use the funnel. So I'm going to hold the funnel and then he's going to first. Go. Oh, Safety yeah, goggles. goggles. Because scientists look awesome with goggles. Goggle girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now and now it's time for the eruption. <laughs> Here we go. Wait a second. Okay. Let's go. Three. Hold it up a bit so that when it starts pulling. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Oh. <laughs> it was orange. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Vinegar. I smell it. That was cool. Yeah, very cool. Can we add more? Let's add more. <laughs> there we go. More, more, more. Very fast, very fast, very fast. Very <laughs> fast, very fast. Very fast. <laughs> ah! It's exactly like a volcano. Yeah. Wow. So, Stacy, how does this work? The baking soda is the base, while the vinegar is an acid. And when they mix, they form a solution that breaks apart into carbon dioxide and water. Yeah, this creates the fountain as the carbon dioxide escapes. Wow, this was really fun to make. And you should try it at home. And tell us how it goes in the comments down below. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. This is Stacy. And this is Seth. And this was Seva's Lab. Lab. See ya! Aren't you just tired of blowing up all these balloons? Yeah, and look how much we have left. Wow. I wish there was a way out. Luckily, there is. In today's experiment, we're going to be blowing up balloons with vinegar and baking soda. So, the ingredients are a bottle of vinegar, baking soda, a funnel, and of course the balloons. Yay! Let's get started. Okay, so first you want to take the funnel mm -hmm. and insert it into the balloon. Just like that. And then you're going to put some baking soda. So 
just a little violet thing that you shake. That it can go in. I think that's enough. Yeah. Okay, so now the next part. You put the balloon on the bottle. So it's going to be very hard, so we're going to remove our gloves. Only for this part. So we put the balloon here. So we expanded the balloon. Do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. You need some help? I think I got it. Okay. Ha! Then we're going to lift the balloon. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. We're ready. Oh. Whoa! Whoa. Ah, I feel like it's going to bust. <laughs> you just didn't get it a little bit. Oh, look at that. That was so cool. Oh it saves God. time. <laughs> so, Seth, how does this work? Well, okay, so the baking soda is a base while the vinegar is an acid. Oh, so when they mix, they form a solution that breaks apart into water and carbon dioxide. Yeah, then the carbon dioxide fills up the balloon and then we get this amazing end result. Wow, this was so much fun to make. We hope you enjoyed too. So, this was Summer's Lab with Seth. And Stacy. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. See ya. Stay connected with me on the Super Summer YouTube channel.